subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Nah, man, so tell me, like, when y'all meeting Pimp, you know what I'm saying? Because he eventually takes y'all in, and like you say, y'all become like, like bro, you gotta realize this though Pimp was only home a year and 11 months before he passed. He did a lot in that year and 11 months, yeah. So everything was literally light speed, like fast. We gotta work now, we gotta do this now, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was on did not sleep a day, shit, for real. C did not sleep, bro, he worked. Hmm. So when you, what's, take me through an average day with Pimp C, if you, have, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to start at NPA. And this shit, for gonna, this going to be funny. Man, this nigga here. This, now, mind you, this, this 22, 23, you, you know what I'm saying? This 15 years ago. We young then. Man, Pimp used to go pull up at this nigga highs and try to wake him up. <laughs> he be up on, hey, Pimp, hey, man, I'm outside, man. Hey, tell me I'm outside. I'm in your driveway, Nick. <laughs> damn, what you want, man? Nigga, come check this bitch out. He be playing beats and music, man. Like, nah, hey, man, you know. As you can see, I'm patient, man. It's still music. Hmm. Yeah. It's still some music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's some music like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, long little pimp Chad, man. Speaking you know of that music saying? though, because you, you put other plays in, you know, like you had a hand in, like it been a, these these pimp C features that been popping up, you know. Oh yeah, a few, several. Uh, we will talk a little bit about some of those though, you know. Uh, oh we talk about the uh, show out, the Juicy J shit, you know what I'm saying? We ended up <clears throat> meeting him on the road. He had a show in Austin. He was in contact with C's uh, wife. And that started the whole uh, the show out remix and uh, uh, that getting money. That getting money is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to say that much about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what other Pimp C uh, features? Yeah, they was with the Drake, uh, that one came out. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was a verse from, uh, that actually, from, uh, that was a verse from, that was one of those verses Boy, that man. Pimp, nah, not that verse. The verse Jew Boy had from Stacking Money, shout out Jew Boy, you know, yeah. D.O. Pimp actually shot a video, this is the last video Pimp shot, and he shot it in Port Arthur, it's called Stacking Money. The verse from that ended up on What Up. I produced that with, mm -hmm. uh, Boy Wonder. And that was on Naked Soul, I think. That was on the Naked Soul album. That was Pimp C, Drake, and Bun. Yeah, that was a single. Yeah, that was yeah. 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 Uh <clears throat> hold on, what other records? Produced Dickies on that on that album featuring Jeezy and Bun. Mm -hmm. Uh I produced Colors on that record. That's actually featuring me and Toe and we are featured on Believe in me, along with the rest of the UGK posse. Shout out to Bankroll, Bug, Easy. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Corey Mo produced that one. Oh. God damn, that's just, that's just some quarter million dollar dollars over there talking shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so because we, we mentioned the Jeezy thing, Coach. What what was the whole deal with the whole Jeezy thing? Okay, because I've seen a lot of these interviews and they talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I happened to be with C when he did that shit. And it was really, uh, he was mad about a verse, man. Jeezy was supposed to be on Take the Hood Back. That was on the YouTube. Taking the Hood Back, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Nigga kept on making this. Hey, man, like, like, you know, yeah. man, I got to tell the truth. Pimp was my partner. I'm the Pimp Lil Partner. You know what I'm saying? So pimp as I like moved through the industry, niggas knew me from being Pimp Lil Partner. That's why, I, you know, shout out to Lil O. That's one of the niggas I talk to daily. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Lump. You know what I'm saying? And you know all my, mm -hmm. you know, shout out Eddie Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Bobo mm -hmm. Luciano mm -hmm. out there in Dallas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is a UGK alumni thing. And that's what I'm introducing now. We're going to keep the UGK sound going. You know what I'm saying? And I just produced a project on my boy JB. He over there, you know what I'm saying? And it's some more shit coming, some more real trio shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the Jeezy thing though, we ain't, we, ain't we gonna get back to the Jeezy yeah. shit. See, 
walked out his bedroom, bro. <laughs> he had on a big, tall ass white tee. So I never forget this shit, cause I'm like, what the fuck? He come out his bedroom with white tee. I'm finna make this nigga answer the phone. I'm going live on Atlanta radio. He grabbed the phone and do the motherfucking interview. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? But really, he was. Interview? I'm talking about the Atlanta interview. Why are you but so this mad? Is why they, this is why they, why they really got into it like that. He stopped pimp answering had, the phone. Pimp, he, he sent the, he needed Pimp to get on the track one time. Pimp sent it back. It's the Dicky song. You know what it saying? was produced by Shorty Red. Yeah. That version was. When it was time for him to get on a project for the UGK album, he kept on having excuses like he in Hawaii this week. And he, he not answering the phone. It's just Pimp a bunch just, of shit. You know, he just got mad and was like, fuck it. I'm going to make this nigga answer the phone. No, 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 no. You're skipping the point. We, they agreed to swap out. And uh, he hit, he hit C with a $60,000 bill. You're like, nigga, I didn't already did that version of Dickie Rucker. For free, you supposed to swap this motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, that's what you know. That's what really that's made him do that. that, that so the call is what that the Jeezy thing. That's what led to the call. Yeah, yeah. he just had that shit on his on his. Yeah, mind. he went answer the phone. I know how to make him answer the phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go live on the radio. Shit. So with the whole time this going on, which okay because that by this time now y'all have been around Pimp for a while. Y'all have seen Pimp. Go pimp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> what What do y'all think? I mean, are y'all tripping all this, or y'all just like shit? Nah, just, man, just, just, shit, shit, it's on this shit right now. C. It's him mm. being him. This ain't no, you know. He was in this like, bro. If C fuck with well, you, he bro. Like, he was fuck. really on it. And while we talking about pimp C stories, I'm gonna give you another one too. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.